So, very short video today showing how to make a budget back purging system. So, this is the new exhaust for the Cubman. Now, it's all tacked up, ready to weld, but in order to weld it, I need to back purge it. Now, the thing about back purging is, well, you normally need two bottles of argon. One to hook up to the welder and one to back purge with. Now, I can't afford to have two bottles of argon. Having bottles of gas in Australia is very expensive. You generally have to rent them. It's only been the last year that they've started bringing out swap and go bottles where you have to pay for the bottle outright and then you're just paying for the gas. But up until that happened, you're paying a dollar a day on average just to have a bottle sitting in your workshop. If you've got more than one welder, you've got more than one bottle, it adds up. They're roughly $360 a year in rental, maybe more now, depending on the size of the bottle. But yeah, so makes it expensive so in order to purge this I need to do something a little bit tricky now this is my normal setup bottle regulator gas line going out to the welder now in order to make a setup to back purge this I had to get a little bit creative so I've been shopping first thing a wire piece so then I had this lying around I got one of them to hook up a gas line to I've got five meters of gas line then I've got barb fittings and a ball valve. I also have a box of hose clamps and a little piece of steel tube. Once this goes on here, that's the whole setup. Now, I'm just going to run through and tighten everything up properly and then show you how it works. There we have it. Now, starting from the bottle end, we've got the main regulator that controls how much flow of gas is going to the welder itself. Now there's the Y piece, takes gas off, and I can adjust how much gas is coming through the purger, anything up to what the main regulator set to. So it'll only ever give you 12 or 13 litres a minute and that's fine but we can adjust it and drop it down to less. Now I've also got the ball valve it's a bit less than a metre from the end so that I can have this at my workstation where the bottle is away with the welder so then 
when I want to start, I can just open the valve and that'll start the gas flow. And I can then shut it off when I've had enough and I don't have to get up, go over to the bottle and shut all this off again. So normally this will just be turned off totally so that there's no gas coming out at all. But when I want to back purge this, I can. So I'll just wrap up a bunch of aluminium foil around this stainless pipe here and just jam it in the end and start back purging. So it's the, a budget way of doing it because you don't have to have a second bottle. I think it should work all right. Depending on if you've got spare regulator parts or what lying around, it could be very cheap or it could be $200. It all depends on what you've got. So I'm going to change all these hose clamps to crimp fittings later on, but this will get me by for now so that I can weld up this exhaust and you'll get another Cubman video. Alright, so, well, that's it for today's video. Next video will be a really nice stainless exhaust manifold for the Cubman. But I needed this before I could do that. Anyway, that's it for today. As always, customise everything.